Good day everyone and welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. Many of you ask me through my vlogs about how much money I spend monthly in order to live in Thailand. And many others ask me how expensive is Thailand these days and how much in average you need to spend in order to live a comfortable life. So today's vlog is about this topic where I am going to share with you my own experience and give you the exact picture if you want to live in Thailand and what are the things to expect. Now before we start the vlog, let me tell you that the numbers that I will give you are reality and not expectations, since there are many vlogs on the YouTube that makes things simple and not real. So I am going to share with you the average spending starting from accommodations into utilities, food and shopping, phone, internet, transportation, car expenses, activities and hangouts, insurance and medications, so that you will have the exact picture and some real numbers about the reality of living in Thailand. The first thing I am going to talk about is the average salary or let's say income in Thailand. Cause it's so essential to know that the majority of working class gets on average between 18 to 40,000 baht per month, which is between 500 to 1,000 USD. Now the prices I will mention later in this vlog will be in USD, so that it will be clearer to you. Accommodation and the utilities could be the biggest part of your expenses. Now in average, the rent prices are between 400 to 800 USD per month for affordable small and mid-sized units. And if you want to stay in the capital city Bangkok, you can find a good deal for around 6 to 800 USD per month. Now here I will mention a tip. If you are doing a yearly contract, then you can get good deals and you might get bigger units with lower prices. And if you want to stay away from public transportation, you can get even cheaper. For example, some of my local Thai friends stay in units for 300 USD per month. That is little bit far from downtown Bangkok. As for myself, I pay 500 USD for my condo that is located not far from the public transportation. And moreover, it's in the middle of the action, with all the facilities that you can enjoy including the gym, the pool and the public areas. Now this is only rent, we are going to talk about the utilities in the next section. So if we want to summarize the accommodation expenses, it should be around 500 USD. Now let's talk about the utilities. So electricity, water and internet are the bills that you will pay as utilities for long-term contracts. On average, it should be between 60 to 150 USD per month, depending on the season. Cause you might use the air conditioning system a lot in the dry and hot season. As for me, I pay around 8 USD per month on average, which together with my rent, 630 USD. Without forgetting that I usually stay out of my unit for work or traveling to other provinces as my job nature. So those are the expenses that I pay for housing and utilities. Now let's talk about another essential expense. Of course your personal phone and the internet will be a monthly expense for you. And in Thailand, many companies give offer when it comes to these services. Now I will not go into much details here, but on average you will pay around 20 to 50 USD per month, depending on the packages that you are using. As for me, I pay 50 USD per month cause I need unlimited internet with a very high speed. But you can have a slower and limited package for much less. So now my expenses are 630 USD for housing and utilities and 50 USD for personal cell phone. In total, 680 USD. <music> 
Food and groceries will be another expense for you. And here I mean your daily meals and the shopping that you make at the markets to buy your food. So if you cook and eat outside, how much you could pay? In general, a local meal in Thailand will be between 3 to 6 USD and international meal between 10 to 20 USD. But let's say you are mixing them, in average you will have to spend 10 to 15 USD per day for your meal. And for your groceries, you might spend 50 to 100 dollars on average per month. Now of course, it depends on your preferences and budget. As for me, I spend a lot and a minimum of 5 to 600 USD per month, excluding my hangouts for food. So as you can see, I am now more than 1000 USD and still have a lot to talk about. But if you want to stay on budget, you might survive with 400 USD per month. Ok, now let's talk about another major expense in Thailand, which is the transportation. Now here Thailand, especially the capital city Bangkok, gives you a lot of options. And I have talked about this matter in many vlogs. You have lots of ways to transport from one place to another. But I am going to consider the public transportation rates and tell you that in general, you will need on average 30 to 50 USD per month to use these services. As for me, I move a lot. So 50 will be my average, without mentioning my internal flights. But let's say 50 USD on using the trains and the motorbike taxis, so till now my total is more than 1300 USD. Now guys, if you have a car in Thailand, that will be another expense. Not only the fuel that you will use, but also the insurance that you will pay yearly. So on average, your car expense can add on around 100 to 200 USD per month on your total expenses. Unless you avoid it and stick to the public transportation. For example, you might pay 6 to 800 dollars per year for the insurance. Now we come to the shopping and some essentials you might spend per month. Here it depends how much shopaholic you are and what is your style. But if you are going for essentials, you will not spend a lot. On average, you should spend between 100 to 200 USD per month. But as for me, it all depends on the season. You know, gifts and necessities. So on average, I spend not less than 100 USD per month on shopping. And that makes my monthly expenses till now 1400 USD. In this section you can make it or break it. And that is the activities and hangouts. Thailand offers you a lot and you should know what to take and what not. I am not going to talk about numbers or averages, I will tell you what I spend for activities, like gym or sports swimming. I spend zero dollars, cause it all included in my condo. And moreover, lots of outdoor parks to refresh yourself and do some sports. So no need to spend money on such things. As for hangouts, I might spend between 100 to 200 USD per month. And that will add on my expenses to be 1600 USD per month. But if you don't know your limit, then it could be much more. Here we come to a very essential part, medication and health insurance. The insurance depends on your age and situation, and of course the packages, but as an average it will be between 800 to 1500 per year. As for me, I pay 1000 USD per year for a good coverage, 
which adds on around 90 to my monthly expenses. And for medications, the prices are affordable in Thailand. But the hospitals are expensive, especially if they are private. For example, you might pay between 30 to 50 dollars per visit. And the government hospitals are much affordable, so this is a general idea you better save 100 USD for such things per month. So guys, as you can see, if we add up things, you can barely make it in Thailand for less than 1000 USD per month. As for me, I spend on average between 1500 to 2000 per month, and I consider fair with what I get. But in general, due to the expenses these days, the 1000 USD per month is essential to survive in Thailand, unless you will live a very tight budget. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea how much you need to live in Thailand. And in my opinion, things are getting expensive all over the world. And those days of living on tight budget is gone. Unless you will stay at home all day and do nothing. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.